Hello everybody, uh, on this episode of The Little Farmer's Farm we take you through a sort of step-by-step -step guide to how to water up your allotment garden plot. Now if you're a complete newbie to uh, allotment gardening or gardening in general we hope that you find some uh, real interest in this and some real advice uh, is, is, is gained from it. But also on tonight's episode, I mean it could work as well for uh, more experienced sort of intermediate gardeners. We hope you find some hints and tips in here as well. And I was quite welled up before because we've had some really nice gifts from our neighbours down on the plots. One particular one uh, from Old MacDarby at Old MacDarby's farm was, uh, was, was, particularly, uh, was particularly good. And you'll see that in this video as well but uh, and also the wise old elf he's helped us out with some magic uh, magic medicine and uh, magic bean seeds for uh, for the plot so yeah take a look check it out we hope you like it if you do like it please hit the like button also we love interaction on this channel so please comment like subscribe um, and we'll share the information together for the growing revolution okay off to my brother now down at the plots below. Oh, Guru Mafinda. This is Tony signing out. Okay, take care, and I hope you enjoy the show. See you in a bit. Bye-bye. So these are more of the climbing French beans that Joe, uh, the wise old elf of Rivendell, has, uh, has given us. Along with that, which is liquid black gold. That's the best feed for your tomatoes, natural organic that you can possibly get and that's comfrey liquid comfrey thanks joe cheers my mate just got the kettle on there just about to boil somebody's been to wilco there guess who's been to wilco's and asda that was a tenner and i think that was 15. no it wasn't it was about 20 quid i think something like that should have kept the receipt. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to put that together now and see what we uh, what we can see. See how she see how she flies. Now that's how it goes and how it's sort of stored like that. There's a little um, a little doodah on here that you can clip it onto. A little nozzle that goes on there. Ow. It's better two-handed, but that goes on there. And you store it like that. I think that's a neat little bit of kit. So I'm going to attach that to there. Again, the red nozzle goes on there. So I'm going to attach that to there. And then uh, reel it down to the plot. This is down there. So I've put that together. That's a 20 metre hose that's on that. And as you can see, it's not, it's not quite long enough for my purposes. It'll get us to the gate, just about, but we've got a further 20 metres, or I think it's 23 metres or something like that, up to the top. Now, I've got that, which is a 10 metre sort of coil hose, but because I thought that... Uh, the sort of spool holes, the spool holes didn't come with any fittings, which it does because they were inside the roll, the roll of holes. I'd bought, um, I bought extra fittings that we've got there, can you see? And I've also got the holes that we got from our house, which is the green one. And that's a further, I think, 20 metres, I want to say. So that, with that, will be fine and dandy won't it I just need to connect them both together so let me go and get that because it's in the back of the car hello now it's just occurred to me that some of you new guys might not know how to connect the hoses together this end I've just put on there now and that's going to connect onto onto here like that. so when we extend that to fit the coil on, the coiled um, section of holes onto it, I'll show you how we do it. Because when I first started gardening ages ago, nobody showed me how to do that. So when I, when I bought my own um, 
my first holes, it took us a while, a while to figure out how you do it. I mean, it sounds silly that, but at the time, I didn't know how to do it. So I'll show you. It's dead easy. Right, so uh, there's your pipe end. This bit. Okay. Flies over there. This bit is the female connection. The male connection is the um, is uh, on there. So that slots into there, but we'll get this onto the pipe first. Yeah. So there's your little nut. That, if you can see there on that, there are those um, uh, sort of teeth. Now the pipe goes into the teeth and you've got to sort of push it on as far as it will go by hand, like that. And then you just simply simply screw it up. I need to get that tooth sorted out. I look like a bloody vagabond without that tooth. I am a vagabond really. Okay, so that goes like that. Now I was trying to get the um, get this onto that, but you need a double threaded one. If you can see this, you need like a double thread connector to fit them together because you've got that bit. But you need one on that side and one on that side to fit these together. Mick's got one for his over there. I just had to dismantle Mix and have a look. I put it back together, mate. But I had to look how it fitted together because I couldn't suss out how you did it. Anyway, so that goes on like that. Pinch tight. And that's it done. That goes into there. And then when you want to take it off, you retract it and pull it out. So you load your magazine like that. And retract it like that. Easy as pie. Now, because I've not been able to connect that, I will do. I'll get one of those um, double-threaded connectors for it from somewhere. And then we can have sort of male-to-male, uh, -male, female-to-female job in, the, in, uh, in, in this slot. But that's what we need. Uh, that won't quite reach up to the very top. It'll reach up to the top potato bed. So what I'll have to do is fill up my uh, watering cans for the time being. So I can continue and uh, water the trees at the top and also water up in the polytunnel and, and, and the greenhouse. But it gets you to the uh, to the spuds, which is the main thing. You can water the spuds. Catch you in a bit. Anywho, let's see how she shoots. My God, that's a good uh, a good pressure. That's going about uh, 12 yards out, that. And wash the uh, lady farmer's uh, greenhouse from here. From the tiki hut. Oh, yeah, I like that. Bloody good shots. Uh, plenty in the tank. Yeah, that's sound, that. That's set onto jet. That's the jet setting. This is the flat setting. You can see it comes out like a sheet. Let's see what cone's like, eh? Like a cone. <laughs> oh. That's soaker. Next up we have mist. A very fine sort of a cone that's coming out from there. Quite like that. And lastly, we have shower. See what that's like. Oh, that's pretty cool, isn't it? I think I'll be using shower quite a bit. I like that. 
Right, I'll crack on, water up. Giving the onions and garlic a bit of a shower. You miserable shower, bloody shower. Well, but I won't film me uh, myself uh, watering the entire garden, so I'll see you in a bit. This is one feature I quite like. If you go like that and you knock that back, it holds it open. I mean, many of you are going to know this anyway, but I've never seen that one before. But uh, it holds it open, saves you squeezing it all the time. I like that. Nice little feature, that. Rhubarb is a thirsty plant, so I've got it on the soaker set in there. Yellowing leaves there. I take them out, take those yellow ones out, get them in the compost. So, during the, un during the unseasonably warm weather that we're having at the moment, it's always best to water up in the evenings. It's always best to water up in the evenings anyway. There's a couple of reasons for that. Um, one is the, the water gets a chance to soak down into the soil before the evaporation of the sun can get to it. And also, if you notice on... I'll just do these um, brassicas up here, actually. Do these brassicas. Um, just bear with me. It's the reason I wanted the coiled one because it get, it, they do tend to get hooked up on things, these hose pipes. But uh, with the brassicas that you can see in there, beads of water collect on the leaves. Now, so if you do that in in uh, in the bright sunshine, the droplets of water will act like a lens to focus the sun. And you'll get um, you'll get burn holes, holes burned in by the sun through the lens of the water, right through your leaves, and it damages them, and it can damage them quite severely. Um, so yeah, it's just better to do it of an evening, and that way you don't waste too much water. In a bit. Now we can just about get to the top of the spud bed, the far end of the potato bed. So we'll give those a good soaking. And then all that we need to do now is fill up our cans, as you can see over there. Um, I've already done the bed, so I don't need to crack on with that. But uh, yeah, so that's the last, the last thing I'm going to do tonight is uh sorry about that is fill up the cans Put that inside yeah Let that fill up and then all the cans then will be put inside the tiki tunnel and then tomorrow through the day They'll warm up. I mean, I'm going to I'm going to water everything up in there tonight anyway. But fill these cans, leave them in in there all through the day, and then through the night because it's down for being a bit of a chilly night tomorrow night. I'm going to um, I'm going to let the uh, the thermal mass in the liquid that's been heated up through the day release its thermal uh, mass and keep the uh, tiki tunnel that little bit warmer overnight yeah so we're just filling up all of the cans now I've got seven all together I've filled, uh, filled two of them and it uh, doesn't take very long at all I mean so far they're watering up which is about half full now the uh, the beds and everything it's took about 20 minutes in fact probably not even that to be honest because I've been messing about with you lot Yeah, uh, that's not trash, that's sand.
there's sand in them now sacks that's going to be used for leveling out the floor inside the tiki tunnel so we can get those flags those paving slabs put on and set in tomorrow so that's tomorrow's episode but yeah it's just basically watering up tonight but uh, jobs are good That was a silly manoeuvre, I'll have to sort that out. There we go for the thermal mass. Get them all in. So now all the beds are watered up and the watering cans are filled. I just need to switch the nozzle out um, on the hose to, uh, to fill the, uh, or to top off rather, the water butts. I'll show you how we do that now. So yeah, I've turned the, uh, the tap off because obviously if we switch the uh, the nozzles over while that's still pressurised we'll have what we just had before where there's uh, unnozzled water blasting out so uh, I've just switched that off now we'll switch, switch over the nozzles and I'll show you what we do to fill up the uh, the water butts behind us okay so it's a simple step really Retract and remove. And put that on. We then take this nozzle over to the water pipe that's in there. This is only for demonstration purposes because it doesn't really need a topping up yet. This, But that should fit, if persuaded, into there. I'll repressurize it now and that'll start filling that up. So we'll do that, yeah? Okay. Now I've not turned it on the uh, full blast, the tap, but what should be happening is uh, while you're doing other chores, because of this device, you can uh, you can leave it doing its thing, just trickling in there. As I say, you can turn up the pressure, fill it up faster if it's down to the bottom. But I'm just topping that off, so I'm just leaving that trickling in there um, while we do the other chores. So I'm doing a bit of weeding, a bit of tidying. I might get some kale in. Should we get some kale in? I think I know where I'm going to put that kale as well. Keep it out of the way. That'll do in that little planter there, won't it? I think so, I think so. And we're going to get marigolds as well around the sides to, de to deter the white fly. And all of that, all of those little critters, little sons of bitches. Now we're going to be uh, taking the Robert De Niro kale off as uh, the sort of curly leaf kale like that. Um, we're going to be taking, I think it's Robert De Niro kale. Uh, so um, we're going to be taking that off as it comes through. And letting it uh, hopefully stalk up till it gets about this big. Just be taking the leaves off as we go with that, with the kale. But there's three plants in there. And that's just a little chore to do while you're waiting for your butts to fill fill your butts. Yeah, this is a bit more lively. I've cranked it up. If you're in a rush, crank it up. That goes in there. You're not wasting any from there because it's well shoved in. Yeah, baby. That's, this is another um, beginner's mistake, really, is... When you get that attached to that, people just try and screw it on while that's attached to that. <laughs> but I've seen so many people do that. But because that disconnects, you just screw that on. I'm going to unscrew it now, right? But you screw that on first, um, before, and then and then that just connects onto it. The bayonet fitted onto it. But I've seen so many people try and do that. It's unreal. I've done it myself, at first. I did it myself, I think, the first time I tried it. Until uh, an older boy rollocked, rollocked it out of me and pointed me in the right direction. But yeah, again, that's a, that's another simple beginner's error. Um, you just screw that on first. A bit blurry, that, sorry. And then connect that up, yeah? Shimples! Hello. Back again. So... We're going to wrap up now. We're going to sort of put the, the hose pipe away. 
So we do it in reverse order. Back up at the tap, we uh, depressurised, turned the tap off, disconnected it from uh, from the tap. And so the next step is, now it's depressurised, we can just take that off. Again, retract that. That'll just drain out. This is just excess water that's left into the pipes. Obviously, it's not pressurised. So we can retract that. I've disconnected it at the top. So with this particular system, it's a uh, it's a wind up. First time we've used it, as you've just seen. So we just wind that up, and that will reel in the hose. there and then this can connect on I can put, okay, pull that out of there I can connect that on then to uh, yeah to there like that and uh, Reel it in a little bit more. And that's it now, ready. Isn't it ready for going away? So we'll do, it, we'll do that with the other one. Now, until I get a hook for it, um, I'm just going to hang it on there. Why not? Fit for the job, innit? So, yeah, plots and plans are afoot. And I want a tooth. I need a tooth. I might think about uh, getting in contact with the dentists and uh, because it's, it's all been done, it's all the impressions have been made, they've actually, they've actually made the tooth, it just needs fitting in but I also need to get an, uh, have an extraction too on, a, on, on that one because the, fill -in, the old filling fell out and uh, that's giving me a bit of jip now so that needs taking out there's only half a tooth there Oral hygiene is very, very important, and I do it now, but uh, I used to pay lip service to it back in the day, and this is what happened. You lose your teeth. On top of it now, there's, there's no more of them loose now. We've had the, um, the sort of deep gum work done, and I floss and I, and, and I gargle with the, um, with what do you call it, uh, Listerine. Brush my teeth every day, twice a day. Sometimes when I remember, but yeah, I look almost human, you know, when I've got the tooth. So I'm going to get that sorted out. I've been Guru Befinder. You've been spectacular as always. If I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. And keep growing with your head down. I nearly forgot. Allotment magician, professor of the plots, fantastic all-round uh, top banana, magical Michael Derbyshire of Old Mac Derby's farm has purchased and given that as a present to me, the guru. These are his plots over here and once the restrictions are lifted a little bit more we're going to do a plot tour on mixed side because it's fabulous. Same with Joe. Elrond, the wise old elf, that's Rivendell at the side. So we've got Rivendell on the left, and we've got old Mac Darby's farm on the right, and you can't go wrong with those two. I'll tell you that for nothing, but look at that, what Mix gave us. It's absolutely mint, that. I love it to bits. I love it to bits, that. So we'll get that on the Tiki Tunnel. There we are, Michael. Pride of place. As always it should ever be. And wise words from the guru. Translated by the magician. And created into that. I love it that mate. You're a top banana. Check him out. Old Mac Darby's farm. It'll be in the description below. Please check him out. Comment, like, subscribe. You won't be disappointed. It's a vlog. You'll, you'll see the work that he's doing. The fantastic work that he's doing down at... Uh, 
Hang on, let me let me just tell you all about it. So yeah, the fantastic work that he's doing on, on his home, where he's creating like a Roman road of imprinted uh, cement at the back. That's great. Also, the the um, the shed that he's building. That's all from recycled material. We've all had a stake in that. Everybody on these allotment plots, I think, had a go at sort of chucking in and contributing to that. All recycled material, and it looks fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. So check that out. The growing's coming on fantastically. He gave us a cabbage on, on Sunday, because ours are not ready yet, but he gave us a pointed cabbage on Sunday that was so sweet. I had to brush my teeth twice after eating it. Uh, it's all going great. You go and check him out. There's Cooperman, who's his sidekick and uh, heterosexual life partner. And there's also Magical McDarbyshire. Two top bananas working those two plots at, that, at, the, at the back. It's mixed plots, but he's graciously given Henry, or Cooperman, um, a stake in it. And they're both working together and they're doing cracking sterling work, the pair of them. So, yeah, old McDarby's farm. Tell them, I, uh, tell them I sent you down there and give them a big thumbs up from us. Thanks, boys and girls. As I say, keep growing with your head down. And uh, if I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. I am Guru Mafinda. You are fabulous. And remember, we love you all. Tatty Pip. Bye-bye.